Bom dia, gente! Trying my best to speak Portuguese, but obviously I can't. And we have a great view. You can see Sugarloaf Mountain over there in the distance. This is where we are going today to do a small hike. We have been on the top of Sugarloaf Mountain uh, three years ago, but with the cable car, this time we want to hike. Let me show you a nice terrace we have here in front of the hotel. This is what I'm talking about. So nice. Small pool, small terrace, perfect life. And this is how Rio looks today. See the, the color of the water is not that great, but it's still beautiful. It's, this city is always beautiful no matter what. And the people walking on Copacabana. Some of them jogging, some of them biking, some of them working out. And there is Sugarloaf. Okay, we are now next to the cable cars that go on the top of the Sugarloaf Mountain, which is right there. We took an Uber until here, 16 Brazilian Reals from our hotel uh, in uh, Copacabana. Uber here in Rio de Janeiro and in Brazil in general is very, very cheap. If your budget is not very tight, I think you can give up on traveling uh, with the bus and uh, the metro in favor of Uber. If you're coming here and you want to go by cable car, you have to know that it's located somewhere in front. And I don't, remem I don't remember the price of the ticket, but I will put it here on the screen. Alright, so this is the entrance of the trail, it's called Pista Claudio Coutinho. It's from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. opened. And we have a warning right here. Presence of venomous animals. I hope I'm not gonna find anything like that. Alright, let's begin our hiking trail. Area Militar, Acceso Prohibido. This is the right way. Do I have to tell you again that I love vegetation in Rio so, so much? And only 100 meters later we have these other gates. So beautiful. Look how beautiful the landscape can be along the way. It's such a beautiful and easy route. If you have any tips for me of how to move to Brazil, especially to Rio, please let me know. I think it's my favorite, together with New York City. Okay, now we reached a point where we have to make a choice either this route that I think it goes on Pau da Sucar either this route that maybe it goes on Moro da Urca because we have this sign over here Tria do Moro da Urca it seems that these are the type of birds that you can find throughout the park here in Pau da Sucar Tico Tico and also these Boa some type of butterfly, opossum, lizard, 
so far we've only seen butterflies and uh, this lizard that is so common Remember when we got to this point and I told you we had to choose between two routes? I thought this is the easy one, uh, but it seems we have to take the other one. This one is easy, only up to some point. So let's go on Tria do Moro da Urca. Okay, here is changing a little bit after this tree. We have this kind of hiking and climbing, a little bit more difficult, but it's not that hard. We can do it. We almost reached the end of the route and we have found this amazing viewpoint. Wow, I see over there the bridge to Niteroi and here the goal. I'm not sure how well you see it on the camera, and this is the neighborhood next to Sugarloaf Mountain and their little uh, beach here. There is one that just got into the station. We passed this uh, gate behind me and it's so nice to feel this cool breeze of air. Now the plan is to find a restaurant or uh, terrace and to sit with a very cold cola overlooking the ocean. It's so beautiful here. By the way, we didn't have to pay any entrance tickets. It is free if you are coming by foot. So yeah, if you feel that you are in a good shape to walk and to hike around one hour or maybe more, then you should come here by foot. Here we are! Let's see the view. One of the best views in Rio de Janeiro. This place is very very well arranged and I'm sure we will find a place to refresh ourselves with some soda or something like that. I'm gonna show you the view from all perspectives. Ah, by the way, here in front is the helicopter. You can do helicopter tours. Let's see how much it costs. 648 Brazilian Rials for 7 or 8 minutes. In the past, the cable car used to look like this. The first cable car appeared in 1912 with a cabin designed by the German company, implementation of by Mr. Augusto Ferreira Ramos. Augusto, right here. Hi, Mr. Augusto, and thank you so much for these cable cars. You're wonderful. They were so much more simple and vintage looking. one of my favorite views in Rio de Janeiro. Over there is the airport where I landed this time in Brazil. It's so small. And let me tell you a little bit about the area as you can see here. Over there is the city of Niteroi or Niteroi. Over here is the neighborhood next to Pau de Açúcar. Over there is downtown Rio de Janeiro. Some favelas, I don't know their names, I see a few from here, there, 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 there are a few in this area. Over here is Botafogo, somewhere over there is Santa Teresa, and I showed you Christ Redeemer. And that's the bridge that connects Rio de Janeiro and the city of Niteroi. I cannot get enough of this view. Here there are a few places where you can eat or get something sweet 
a soda, a juice, a chai, ice cream, many options. And a terrace with a great view, which is what we were searching for. I cannot wait to take something and to sit here and relax and enjoy the view. The stunning view. By the way, can you believe that I was hoping to hike on Pau de Azucar over there? <laughs> no, it's impossible for someone like me. I think only professional hikers, people who are doing this for a living, could go up there by themselves without a cable car. Pau de Azucar. If you want to see the view from up there, you can check my vlogs from uh, three years ago. I will put some link here, up, somewhere here up, and you can see it. From up there you can see the beaches of Copacabana, Ipanema, and the view is even better, of course, because it's much taller than Moro da Urca. Okay, so we just bought the tickets to descend to Praia Vermella from uh, Moro da Urca and these are the tickets. The price for an adult is 40 reais and if you want to buy the tickets from downstairs from Praia Vermella to go up to Sugarloaf Mountain and back, it's gonna be 120 Brazilian reals per person.